Hi, today at Entrepreneur, we are with Global Supermodel, Natalia Varino. Hi, Natalia, welcome to India. Thanks. So, Natalia, you've been managing motherhood and entrepreneurship quite within me. So, how has it been the journey for you as a mom for <laughs> Um, it's a very, it's the most frequent question. How do I manage uh, to to still have a good connection with my children, still bring up fantastic kids? I think so, um, and uh, and work very actively. I have certain rules. For example, I'm always back home on weekends. At least I try. Obviously, this weekend is an exception, but I'm back tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, to 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 Paris to be with my children. Mm -hmm. So weekends um, um, uh, except uh, for very few occasions during the year are sacred and um, and also you know I manage the same way as uh, millions of working mothers around the world who have to work um, I'm I come back home and I'm I I switch the hat and I and I also my rule is to work as hard at home as a mom as I do in my in the office and the same energy that I put into my work which is really important to me uh, I also come back home and even no matter how tired I am I I try to spend as much time as possible with my children um, and you know so far I have been uh, always a young mom uh, I so that's been helpful in terms of energy level and but now I'm I do understand I do realize that I have to give a little bit more time to myself but it's been um, it's been quite difficult I do find that you know I sacrifice myself but that's a choice you make I guess in my in my case but again you know never have no reason to feel sorry for myself because I know there are millions of working moms around the world who absolutely have no choice. Um, so it's um, it's a uh, it's wonderful to be a working mother <coughs> for me, and uh, because I choose to do so, and I I choose to do work that inspires me, and I feel that I'm building heritage as well for my children. Something that. Is important for my mess important message for my sons and and my daughter that um, a, a woman should fulfill her dreams uh, and and her purpose uh, if she wants to and if that's what something that she um, as a human being she she feels inspired to do everybody should encourage her around and uh, she shouldn't be held back Sure. So you belong to the world of fashion, wherein uh, life are short-lived, and that too. And when you move to motherhood, of course, I mean uh, the perception of the industry changes. So how did you manage those? Breaks it's not in true. It's not like that anymore. Okay. Yes, it hasn't been like that really for a very long time. Okay. So I, I gave birth 18 years ago, and it's actually, in a strange way, started my career. Um, because everybody was so. I'm, you know, amazed that I just had a, a baby and that I was back in shape and that I was, uh, you know, full of energy. Okay. But really, this is not my everyday life anyway. Mm -hmm. For ever since I remember myself, I, the charity work has been my work. Okay. And uh, the fashion has been very, very important, of course, uh, because it gave me an incredible platform to to achieve, fulfill my potential, but that's not how I see, define myself. Okay, sure. You also started a food business recently, you want to talk about I that? didn't start a food business, I invested, I'm a lead investor in a company okay. that is a baby food brand, okay. but um, I, I, I must say that it's a very unusual investment for my portfolio, mm -hmm. I usually invest in tech. But uh, little Tammy really um, somehow seduced me as a company because of the value that they bring and because also they, I, I felt hit um, uh, the spot with me as a mom, uh, as a working mother as well, because as a working mother you, 
you want to give the best to your children even if you don't have time. Um, and uh, little tummy is um, it's even better than homemade food because the technology that they use, the cold compression technology, saves all the nutrients um, for the baby. And so you give your child literally the best you can you can give with this brand. And uh, yeah, really like it. So any Indian investments made in India yet? No, no, not yet. But are you looking at making any? I mean, have you come across any startups? Well, it's a little bit hard to help from so far away because I usually am a very strategic investor. I don't invest just uh, with money. I invest with my uh, expertise and uh, I become an advisor or I sit on the board. Um, so it's been... It's definitely we're always looking and we're very globally minded. Um, so far, I haven't found uh, the right the right investment, but I'm open to it. Okay. Any strategic input as of for which the startups are thankful to you? Sorry? What has been that one strategic input for which startups have been really thankful to you? Mm, well, it's really hard to uh, hard to choose one because uh, I uh, I advise and invest in so many startups mm -hmm. but I guess um, I've inve I invested in Flow which is mm -hmm. uh, uh, a period uh, tracking and the largest female health platform today and uh, the beginning was uh, uh, very interesting so I be invested very early on and I, I I explain to them the real potential behind the community okay. and pointed out that some of the conversations that they were having um, inside the platform were extremely important to take outside. Okay. For example, the uh, education around um, uh, menstrual health mm -hmm. uh, and anything to do with sexual education. Okay. It's uh, topics that are um, very taboo and stigmatized yeah. sure. and the uh, flow already at the time has managed to um, to create a very anonymous uh, safe uh, comfortable environment for women to discuss these issues within the platform but um, at the time I told Flo that this is something definitely we need to bring outside because the um, female health standard is um, is very low just because it's a stigmatized uh, and taboo subject and we need to raise that that um, standard and the only way to raise it is by starting actually to verbalize it. Mm -hmm.